What's going on, everybody? 15 minutes with. It's the Indie Game Enthusiast. This is Inua. I'll talk after the little cutscene here. Timer's running, baby. Oh, that's really cool. So 15 minutes with. We spend 15 minutes with the game and see in 15 minutes can we determine if A, we like it, B, we don't like it, C, it's a good fit for you, D, it's a good fit for the channel. You let me know in the comments and judge it by the likes, the dislikes. Instead of talk after the cutscene, but I mean, there's no words, so. Sorry, polar bear friend or whatever. All right. Uh, nature is all the time to tell stories endlessly as long as anyone is willing to listen. This life was explained to me through the story of Nanerluk, uh, the great bear. No paws nor teeth measured to its own. Its patience and weight were even greater than anyone's. This is kind of a point and click game. Links to the dev, publisher, store page, all that stuff will be uh, in the description. It was part of the Next Fest, uh, so I'm playing the demo right now. It is coming out soon. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, cool. Tanya, I think our name is. Uh, David, it's me. I didn't wake you, did I? David McKay. No, I'm up. Just fixing myself a coffee. So where are you now? I just reached the Parks Canada research ship. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. Uh, personally, I love it. I am Canadian, so it's kind of cool. I've seen, like, a couple recently. Long Dark, stuff like that. Really awesome. You don't see enough of that. Uh, freezing my ass off waiting for Dr. Gervais to come show me around the boat. Ricky Gervais? <laughs> it's minus 15 here, more like minus 20 with the wind chill and... I didn't send you there to report the weather, Tane. Uh, did you get a chance to read over the documents I sent? Yes, sir. Got it all in my backpack in case I need a quick refresher. But as of 4 a.m. this morning, I'm a fully-fledged expert on the Franklin Expedition. Ready to turn it all into a great story, so long as I don't pass out in the middle of the interview. Damn it, Tana, I thought I told you to get a good night's rest. That was the plan until my connecting flight was delayed for eight hours. But at least it gave me plenty of time to get my mind off that weird dream. Can you please just focus for a couple days? I don't want to regret giving you this opportunity. Uh-oh, sounds like someone needs to finish his coffee. I can feel that. Uh, well, can't stand around all day chit-chatting, David. Some of us have work to do. Grizzly old bastard. He's right, though. This is a great opportunity. Might as well get to work. All right, so I guess we're doing some reporting. Uh, hello, hello. I have an appointment with Mr. Gervais. <clears throat> Alan? Great start. He can't hear me over all the fuss. All right, so explore the surroundings to find tokens. All right, what's this? Okay, cool. Um... Oh, let's talk. What's in the backpack? Ooh, an article. Interact with the character to enter their mind. Let's enter this dude's mind. Sammy Isaluk. I'm terrible with these. Please, somebody let me know in the comments. And uh, while you're there, I mean, let me know if you like the video. Maybe give it a thumbs up. All right. So, this journalist has her head up her ass. She's barely spoken to me. It's like I'm invisible. Yikes. Uh, her loss. Who does she think suggested looking here in the first place? If I hadn't spotted that mast in the ice last winter, I'd still be combing the seafloor 100 kilometers north of here, back where they found the Erebus. But yeah, sure. Talk to the uh, Q... Qualinut? Qualinut scientist? Qualinut? Sorry, guys. Uh, what could you possibly learn from some Inuit kid? Sorry, man. Look, don't judge me. Uh, Alan Chervais. <clears throat> Wait, weren't we expecting a visit from that journalist today? Tanya? Tanya, Tal or Talia, something like that. I can't say I'm too keen on the idea, but the communication department seems to think it's a good PR for Parks uh, Canada. Ah, uh, cool. Speak of the devil. Ah, uh, so you're the journalist. How long are you planning on loitering outside? Well, you want to freeze to death or come aboard? Funny guy, I should try and make a good impression. You must be Alan Gervais. I'm uh, Tana Hippol Hippolyte? Hippolyte? I don't know. God, sorry. <laughs> uh, I've Tana, I can't wait to catch up, but... Uh, my hands are full right now. Why don't you take a look around, try not to touch anything, and we'll get acquainted later, yes? I just wanted to ask a few. Fantastic. <laughs> I think that was a good impression. I don't know, man. Not to me. But I guess you can't really just wait here forever. We could have just looked around the boat, though, I suppose. Uh, alright. Whoa, in his mind. Good publicity for Parks Canada, they said. That's if she manages to write anything at all. We'll be lucky if she doesn't throw up from seasickness. Then again, if she does, at least we'll have a good laugh. Jeez, nice people. Um, what about myself? Ooh, my mind. <clears throat> what do I think? Maybe I should take one last look at my notes. Might help to get my facts straight for my story. Okay. April 22nd, 7.30 appointment with Alan. 
Uh, Parks Canada Research Ship, blah, blah, blah. From Cambridge, uh, from Montreal to Cambridge Bay. Whatever. Uh, Franklin Expedition left England in 1845. Two ships, Erebus and Terror. State of the Art. Uh, 134 sailors aboard. 1850, last time that anyone saw them. 40 corpses discovered, 90 still missing. Maybe lead poisoning. First tombs found on Beachy Island. Ships found in Cambridge Bay. Oh, okay. Uh, what really happened to the Franklin Expedition? What happened to the rest of the crew? <clears throat> Interesting. A mystery. What really happened to the Franklin Expedition? What happened to the rest of the crew? That's what I'm here to find out. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Uh, who's this over here? Maggie. Maggie Norin. Here comes the journal- or that journalist. Okay, Maggie, not to try to- uh, try not to say anything stupid. Now, what's a nice ship like the HMS Terror doing in a place like this? Ha, huh, you know, we're not completely surprised by where it ended up. We knew that Terror had been stuck in the ice with the Erebus about 100 kilometers north of here. I read about that. That's where things really started to go wrong for the Franklin Expedition, right? Right, that since the Erebus was found further south in 2014, we figured the Terror would be somewhere between those two points. Or these two points. Uh, still, it was a stroke of luck that anyone found it at all, and in such good condition. <clears throat> it must be so exciting. Imagine all the things we could learn from this. We don't have to imagine for much longer. Hey, uh, are you going to use any of that in your piece? Don't worry about it. Jeffrey Therian? What's up, Jeff? Oh man, the journalist is coming over. If I play my cards right, maybe I can get a mention in that piece of hers, or this piece of hers. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Tata from The Discover. Mind if I ask a few questions? I understand you've made... Is it Tanya? I don't know. Let's, let's go with Tanya. Tanya sounds weird. I'm going to go with Tanya and please somebody correct me. Uh, mind if I ask a few questions? I understand you've made some interesting discoveries. Interesting would be an understatement. This stuff is groundbreaking. Where do I even begin? I think what our readers really want to know is whether we're any closer to finding out what happened to the Terra and her crew. We still got a lot of work to do to figure that out. Work, Jeffrey. You remember the concept? <laughs> Sorry, no time to chat, but have a look at what we already pulled out today. Might be interesting. Okay, cool, cool. Let's uh, go back around this way then. Where's the stuff they pulled out today? Oh, there. Okay. A, oh, tin cans. That's cool. Anything else I can interact with? Discoveries. Ooh. Um... Oh, no, I've, okay, so I can talk to everybody again now. Okay, we'll go back to Jeff, get him in trouble. Talk to about the tin cans. I'm a little hungry, but not that hungry. Okay. Uh, the divers have been given the signal. Their search basket must be full. Maggie hasn't noticed yet. This could be my chance to look good in front of Alan. Maggie, what are you waiting for? Activate the winch. Oh, jeez. Huh? Oh, okay, I'll do it right away, but... But what? No excuses. Come on, wake up. We've all got a job to do. Jeff, stop being a dick. It's just that, the last time I checked, you were on winch duty. Damn it. Oh, cool. Uh, fine, I'm on it. Better than standing here all day arguing about who's supposed to do what anyway. What a bitch. Well, this isn't a friendly work environment. Alright. Uh, what else can we talk to him about? New discoveries? I could have sworn it was her turn. Made a damn fool out of myself. That's not how I'm going to get my post-doctorate. No, I guess not, buddy. Uh, Maggie says about discoveries. I got a glimpse of the officer's quarters when we were in the submarine. Maps, cabinets, scientific instruments, not to mention the captain's office, all perfectly preserved. Uh, but the one thing I really want to get my hands on is the ship's logbook. We could learn so much about those final days aboard the Terror. The divers have looked, but they can't find it anywhere. Maybe someone beat us to it. The tin cans. Uh, they ate nothing but canned food, had no entertainment, had lived lives of constant suffering. No doubt about it, the seafarers of the 19th century lived like grad students. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, what do I think? What do I think about the tin cans? Time to find out what was on the menu aboard the Terror. Okay. These tin cans were uh, are really well preserved. We found them on a shelf in the pantry. I wouldn't crack one open, though. Let me guess, they've expired? Worse, they may have been tainted with lead from a faulty sealing process. Ah, uh, yes, I think I've read about that. You think that might have been uh, what killed the crew? Not necessarily. From our preliminary test, the levels of lead in the crew's bones are consistent with those of other sailors at the time. Back then, your average Brit was exposed to higher levels of, of lead than we are today. The joys of living through the Industrial Revolution, I guess. Uh, we ha uh, we'll have a toxicological analysis completed in the coming months, and then we'll know for sure. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. And what do I think about discoveries? Judging by the racket, it sounds like they've hauled stuff up through the wreckage, or from the wreckage. I hope they find something while I'm on board. That'd really help my story. Cool. Um, how about... Alan, what do you got to say about the tin cans, Alan? Anything we find on board the Terror may offer clues to what happened on her last voyage. <clears throat> That's true. 
Uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm amazed by what we found. The wreck of terror is in uh, near perfect condition. I bet the thing would float if we could bring it to the surface. That's weird. Uh, if we keep on at this rate, we'll soon understand what really happened to the Franklin expedition. <clears throat> okay, and what about... Let's see. Oh, can't click on that yet or anything? Okay, we just brought it up. <clears throat> uh, discoveries. I remember an old story that the elders used to tell about two hunters who found the wreckage of the Erebus before it sank and went in to explore. Down in the belly of the boat, they came across a grinning giant, standing there completely still in the dark. Later, we figured out it was probably the frozen corpse of one of the crew. Jesus. And the grin would have been due to scurvy. Hopefully the fish ate the bodies a long time ago. I don't need to see any of that. I don't blame you, Sammy. Uh, tin cans. What does he think about that? I don't quite see the point of collecting all those old cans, but I guess that's why I drive the Zodiac. All right, fair enough. All right, oh, we can go this way now? Ah, <clears throat> the remains. Okay, so we've seen that. What have we done? Oh, okay, so we've learned about the expedition. I see it kind of tracks our progress. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything else on this side we can interact with, so let's go back. Oh, but now we can talk to everybody about the remains. Um, okay, and that just goes that far. Okay, that's cool. All right, now let's go back to Sammy. Um, it's not easy to make the dead talk. Who knows what happened on board that ship? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Alan. Ever since Cynthia entered the uh, this witchcraft phase, I feel like I'm surrounded by skulls. Teenagers. God, I sound just like my dad. That's funny. Uh, what do I think? About the discoveries. The discovery of terror is a landmark moment in the history of Canada. The Franklin Expedition is the stuff of legend here. We learn about the search for the Northwest Passage in school. Two years ago, then Prime Minister Stephen Harper launched an expedition to locate the wrecks. But he didn't just want to unravel the mystery of what happened to the crew. He also wanted to assert Canadian sovereignty in the area. I want to find the truth behind the myth. Jesus. Look at Stephen Harper. I didn't really like the guy either, but Jesus Christ. Um, wow, skulls. I got here just in time. <clears throat> he wasn't the worst. But he wasn't the best. But neither are, are any of our prime ministers lately. <laughs> uh, are those the crew? It's been a long time since anyone found human remains from the Franklin expedition. This must be a landmark discovery, Dr. Gervais. Just 87 more and you'll have the full set. Indeed, it's quite the breakthrough. But as is often the case with these discoveries, these remains pose more questions than answers. <clears throat> Why would so many of these men have remained on the ship? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they could have risked it and tried to reach the continent on foot. Instead, they just waited here to die. Uh, the expedition's not over yet. Maybe you'll find your answers. Maybe. Or maybe we'll never know. So morbid. Oh, what's oh Oh, you can navigate freely between eras in order to unfold the story. Whoa. I'm glad this happened before the end of our 15 minutes because this changes things quite a bit. This is really cool. Simon Woodruff. Lieutenant, a decision must be made and made quickly if we are to have any chance of surviving. Mr. Uh, Lieutenant Graham Gore. Mr. Woodruff, uh, might I remind you that I am the last remaining officer on board. I and I alone will make the decisions about the crew of this ship. There are barely 30 of us left. The summer ahead looks to be as cold as the last. Sir, we must abandon the terror. Abandon the terror? Nonsense. You would be well advised to hold your tongue on such matters. Sir, I beg you, please, listen to me before it is too late. If we leave now, I'm sure we can still... Ooh. Watch it. The only thing you can be sure of, Woodruff, is that your next word on this will be your last. That fool, he's risked our lives. He hasn't got what it takes to be in command. But the men still follow him all the same. Is it fear, loyalty, or is it just blind obedience? I have to find something to convince them to leave this ship with me. Uh, should I tell them about my dream? No, no, they'd never believe me. I'm not sure I believe me. There has to be something else. Whoa, this is different, man. This is different. Oh, man. Josephus. Okay, so we got to explore the surroundings to find tokens. Ah, death. Oh, see, so okay, you find the tokens, and then you can communicate with people in the environment about that. Ah, escape. There's another one. Um, doesn't seem to be any more in the immediate area, but sometime... Oh, yep, firepower. Okay, so, hate to leave on a cliffhanger, but this uh, is getting to the end of our 15 minutes with. This is Inua. Um, let me know what you think. I think this would be really cool to do a video series on. I don't think it's the longest game ever, so we'd probably squeeze a few really cool, maybe longer form videos out and to tackle this whole story. Uh, my pros for the game so far, um, the art style I really like, and uh, the sense of mystery is pretty cool. Um, the only cod would be um, if you're not into this type of game, there's not really uh, very much in the way of action or anything else, at, the, at least at this point of the game. But again, that's how this works, what we do our 15 minutes with. We kind of say, like I said, is uh, do we like it? 
I think so far. Let me know what you think. Let's see if it's a good fit for yourself and the channel. Uh, it's been the Indie Game Enthusiast. Uh, I had a blast, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.